The first thing came to our eyes is the statue of the Virgin Mary in any Catholic church, not only in Korea but also in the world. Also, the statue of the Virgin Mary is enshrined in most Catholic homes without exception. So, some other religious believers often misunderstand that the Catholic Church believes in Mary. But do we really believe in the Virgin Mary? The Catholic Church makes a strict distinction between the veneration of Our Lady and the adoration of God. The reason why the Catholic Church venerates Our Lady is that she is the one who gave birth to Jesus and raised Him while being completely obedient to God's will and clearly showing the way to believe and follow Jesus as Savior. The Virgin Mary cooperated through free faith and obedience in human salvation. Our Lady was obedient to God's plan of salvation that she would become the mother of Savior. From the moment she conceived Jesus to the moment he died on the cross, she was with him and shared his suffering together. After Jesus ascended into heaven, Our Lady stayed in the community praying with the disciples and she was also with the apostles on the day of Pentecost and helped the beginnings of the church. Even today, Our Lady is our mother who prays for our salvation beside Jesus. She is the one who beseeches God for us and brings us the gifts of eternal by her intercession. Therefore, the Catholic Church honors the Blessed Mary with a special devotion. Also, we celebrate these days of the Mother of God and ask for her intercession through prayers such as the Rosary. There are four Marian dogmas in the Catholic Church. Firstly, we call Our Lady the Mother of God. Our Lady is the Mother of Jesus, who is God Himself, and she particularly contributed to His coming to this world. The Church calls Our Lady Mother of God since she gave birth to Jesus, who has divine nature, and it is confessing Jesus is the Son of God. Secondly, Our Lady is the Blessed One who was conceived without original sin. The angel foretold the conception of Jesus to Our Lady and said, Rejoice, you who are full of grace. It means that Immaculate Virgin preserved free from all stain of original sin from the moment of her conception. Our Lady gave birth to God's Son, who came as the Savior of the world and was in harmony with Him and cooperated in God's saving work. Therefore, Our Lady must be free from all sin. Thirdly, the Church confesses Mary's real and perpetual virginity. Mary kept her virginity even in the act of giving birth to the Son of God made man. However, there are some who deny the perpetual virginity of Our Lady, referring to the text Brothers of Jesus in the Bible. But the term brothers here refers to the close relatives of Jesus according to the custom at the time. The virginity of Our Lady indicates that Jesus was conceived solely by the power of the Holy Spirit, and also this is the sign that Jesus is truly the Son of God. Fourthly, Our Lady was assumed into heaven. After her life on earth, Our Lady returned to her Son in heaven. She was taken up body and soul into heavenly glory. Because Our Lady was totally preserved from the stain of original sin, she did not need to be in the grave and be under the domination of death. The assumption of Blessed Virgin is the sign of hope that we also are being called to share in the glory of Christ. Our Lady, the foremost among all the saints, is the supreme model of the faith, being always with us and helping us to go along that path. O Lord Jesus Christ, who leads us to God the Father, who has been pleased to appoint the Most Blessed Virgin, your Mother, to be our Mother also, and our Mediatrix with you. Mercifully grant that whoever comes to you, seeking your favors, may rejoice to receive all of them through her. Amen.